There is no greater honor in world golf than to compete in the Masters at Augusta. This week, 120 amateur golfers from 30 countries get the chance to realize that dream when they contest the inaugural Asian Amateur Championship in Shenzhen, China. The winner will receive an invitation to the 2010 Masters. China is one of the world's oldest civilizations, rich in cultural relics and historical sites. It boasts the biggest central square in the world, Tiananmen Square. The Forbidden City is the largest, best-preserved imperial palace in the world. The Great Wall of China is the largest man-made object in the world. And just 30 minutes from Hong Kong is the city of Shenzhen in the province of Guangdong. And the Mission Hills Golf Club, the world's largest golf complex. Its 12 18-hole courses are designed by the game's greatest players and course architects, spread across an area of more than 15 square miles. The 2009 Asian Amateur Championship will be played on the World Cup course designed by the great Jack Nicklaus. Along with the invitation to next year's Masters, the winner and the runner-up will earn a place in the international final qualifying for the 139th Open Championship to be held at the home of golf, St Andrews. The Asia Pacific Golf Federation, the Masters and the RNA have invited 120 amateur golfers from 30 countries to realize a dream. This is the inaugural Asian Amateur Championship from the Mission Hills Golf Club in Shenzhen, China. So welcome to beautiful Mission Hills on day one of the Asian Amateur Championship. I'm Peter Osterhaus and it's been a fascinating time here in China. Looking forward to an exciting week of golf. But first, let's look back at some of the actions leading up to the tournament proper. Last night's welcoming party was a chance for players from all over the Asia Pacific region to mix with officials from the RNA and Augusta National. On Sunday, one of these guys will go home a hero. Pride was very much in the spotlight. That is very much one of the themes this week, as a remarkably diverse mix of players congregate for this unique tournament. And something else unique this week, these green jackets have never been seen away from the Augusta National Golf Club. This morning's opening ceremony brought together a world of golf. Her Kwang Su, president of the Asia Pacific Golf Federation, Colin Brown from the RNA, and finally Billy Payne, chairman of the Masters Tournament. And then all the pressure came down on this man's head, China's Huang Wenyi with the opening tee shot. Tell you it went safely down the middle and we were underway. Now joining me in commentary is Jay Townsend. Well, it's great to be here. It's going to be a wonderful day here. Nice sunny morning, calm conditions. Let's pick up the action at the Asian Amateur Championship with some highlights from first day's play. Let's start with the hole number two, it's a par five. Antonio Asistio from the Philippines has an eagle putt. What a way to start this championship. <coughs> Goes to three under par with that putt. On the other side of the golf course, the 11th hole, another par five. Peter Spearman Byrne from New Zealand. Just for birdie to get to three under par. A right to left break in this one. The head moves quickly with the butter blade there, but it goes in. <laughs> I go to the 11th 
still there at the par five. Mark Fernando from the Philippines goes to four under par with that very confident birdie putt. Back to the par five second hole. And Chang Wan from Korea. Four under par. This to get to five under, and he holds that. A very nice play early on. <laughs> Looking very casual. He looks pretty confident, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. Well, look at the 12th, the par four. Peter Spearman Byrne, the New Zealander. What a particularly good approach shot. Long birdie putt and crashes into the back of the hole. Takes him to four under par. Excuse me. He's pretending he didn't hit it too hard. <laughs> Back one hole to par five, 11th. Very birdieable hole. The left hander from Thailand. Krab T. Renan. Even par. Playing his third shot. So in trouble with this lengthy third shot at the par five. That's a tremendous shot to set up a birdie opportunity. Philippines second shot uphill over the bunker on the left hand side good hole location here intimidating look to this approach but that is a super play that's a fabulous shot in there great distance control Wonderful fairway wood third shot. Just a birdie the 11th hole. One of the easier holes in the golf course. Reachable with a good tee shot. Good, and that gets Krupp Tiran on to one under par. A beautiful birdie there after a poor tee shot. Lovely smooth stroke. Let's see if have a conversion of a birdie by Fernando at 14 after that beautiful uphill second shot. Chance to go five under. He watches it carefully. Beautiful putt. So it's a good tee shot, good second. Lovely stroke. This is par three. And Cheng Wan from Korea, five under par at this point. Just to get the six under after that wonderful tee shot. He pours it right in the middle of the hole. But he is really in good shape. Six under par through 14 holes. Number 16, Mark Fernando. He parred number 15 after the birdie at 14. Third shot at this par five. Short par five, you have to be careful. Laid up safely, and he'll uh, give an excellent chance for a birdie. Back to the par five, eleventh. Nguyen Tai Duong it's for birdie. And the players an opportunity to really speak out for their country, play well, representing their country in a major championship. Chances to get in the Open Championship and the Masters. What a season for them. There's going to be some fast heartbeats come Sunday with being in the Masters on the line for the winner. Fernando, again, another birdie chance. This time at par 5 15th. Looking very confident, moving to six under. This is a tournament where heroes are going to be made when you think that someone is going to be playing at Augusta National in the Masters in the springtime. And the ninth hole to finish up. Birdie putt, he misses that, but Antonio Assisto will finish at three under par 69 in a very good opening round. 
Yeah, players be proud to get in the Masters. Uh, not only just uh, they've played well to earn a spot in that championship, but uh, they're proud to represent their country there. Absolutely. It's time. He thought he'd made that long putt. Same hole. Chipping for a birdie, making an easy par. A beautiful touch. These greens are in such good condition. It makes a short game pretty easy. Going up to the 18th, Mark Fernando of the Philippines. Five under par. Just to get to six under. Looking very good, but just comes up a little bit short. Can't say he's going to be disappointed to finish at 67. A wonderful round for Fernando. Great round. Go to the other side of the course. Good strong par four to finish this nine as well. Hang Chang Wan, Korean has a par putt finish a beautiful round six under 66 Should be very proud of that so beautifully played for a six under par 66 only a one shot lead over Fernando Spielman Byrne from New Zealand a 69 along with Assistio so uh, good scoring day interesting course and it's been a great challenge Welcome back to the Asian Amateur Championship at the Mission Hills Golf Club, the Jack Nicholas course. And a beautiful day to play golf. We're going to catch up with some play this afternoon. Um, Ren has a birdie chance at the 10th. Yeah. Playing in his home country. Delighted to go to five under par. 11th hole of par five, Matt Jagers. Short in two, this is his third shot. And a wonderful bunker shot he's played right there. He'll have that left for birdie. Seems to be discussing something about the shot. We go up ahead to number 13. Jonathan Wu of Singapore. Come to under par, beautiful par three. Exceptional shot. Probably looks about six inches away from back on the tee. Great play. Back to 11 and Matt Jager. It's for birdie. He holds it and that's to go to two under par. So Jager's moving along nicely. A little spring in his step as he walks off that green. Road shot, Hun Ren finish here. Excellent chance for a birdie. And move on five under par. It's a combination of a misread and a miss hit. Five under, going along very nicely. We had one hole of 13, the par three, Lam Ji Quinn. Oh my goodness, hits the back of the hole, pops up <laughs> in the air. He can't even believe it. Oh, well, it ends up in the bottom. All's forgiven. I didn't really mean to hit that too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Very apologetic. From China, way, way, birdie putt at 13. <laughs> the par three. Goes in, takes him to two under par. Oh, hold. On red back in the team 13, he's five under. 185 yard par three. A little bit of an elevated tee. Very accessible hole location today. 
That's a good looking shot. That is safely over to the left side of the hole. Just what you'd want. We're back to number 12. Have a look, Judson Ustakio from the Philippines. Second shot. Beautiful tee shot. See he's posing on this one. So he should. Beautiful play. So he got a chance to go three under. Back to 13, Han Ren. This to get to six under par and become a joint leader. Oh, it needs to get there. Get up. It does. And that gets him to six under par. Really rolling with the putter. Six birdies against no bogeys so far. Come on, smile. <laughs> He's very focused. Back to 12. Ustakio's birdie attempt to move to three under. Nice stroke, kept the head down well, in all the way. Beautiful putting action there. Still three back, but a solid round of golf. Up to the second, par three on 15. Han Ren to get to seven under par. And a beautiful stroke, really pulling some nice putts today. This is to take the lead on his own. Unlikely putt from this distance. A lot of speed to it. Goes right in the oh. middle. So Han Ren gets the lead at seven under par. Seven birdies. And that's his third two of the day. An impressive display of par three play. Love his demeanor. Just very focused, confident. Walking quickly and holding that one shot lead with three holes to play. Par five and then two very strong par fours to finish. They are a real challenge in this first round of the Asian Amateur Championship. Coming to the closing stages of the first round of the Asian Amateur Championship. Challenging Jack Nicklaus golf course, testing the game and nerves of these players. Go out to the 16th. Ren, third shot. Very comfortable indeed. Looking for his eighth birdie of the round. And on the same hole, he came up short with his third shot, chipping for birdie. Eric Chun, even par. He's going to remain there after a nice chip shot, just a mere tap in. And then puts the left hand on the club. Quick stroke. Oh, Quick yes. rhythm to that. In it goes. Oh. Well hold. Not able to go for the green in two, but makes his birdie. Moving over to the other side of the course, Australian Jordan Sherat. Two under par. This to get to three under at the fourth hole. Par four, 424 yards. Down the hill, left to right a little bit. Get in. Perfectly in the middle of the hole. So Charette gets to three under par. <laughs> Go over to 18, an important tee shot for Han Ren. Strong par four. Just under 460 yards. Uh. Now we're back in that follow through, but obviously not happy with the result and just catching the right hand rough. That's in the front right corner of the green, so a good line from there. Back to the other side of the course, second shot on the par five. Sixth hole, Jordan Charette, still three under par. Pretty good shot, that's going to set up a pitch shot in there. Our leader 
Tigers second shot at 18. third shot but catching the bunker bogey free so far Charette at the six after a nicely positioned second shot on the par five this for eagle comes up a little bit short releases nicely shot. back to 18. a bit of sand to carry here you can see the elevation change as well no routine bunker shot than he might have expected. That for a bogey-free round. Back to the six after that nice pitch shot for Charette. Three under par, this to go to four under. Three feet, no break in this one. And nicely done, so he's four under par through 15 holes. Back to 18 and that par putt for a bogey-free 64. Disappointing way to finish. Still an exceptional round. 65. Championship leader. Also at the 18th hole. Third shot. Judson Bustakio. It's four under par. Trying to get it up and down and stay at four under par. He's going to have some work left from there. the side of the course. Australian Jordan Sharat. Birdie putt nice. takes him to five under par. Now to 18. Putt. Stay at four under. Oh, yes, it looked to be a good stroke. <laughs> Almost missed. Finishes four under. Well hold. Well, it's been a very interesting first day's play at the inaugural Asian Amateur Championship on Ren. Great 65 with that bogey at the last hole. Some exceptional scoring, pretty good scoring conditions. Of course, it's certainly tough enough to sort out those playing well and those having a bit of a struggle special atmosphere at this event as players uh, trying to win to qualify for the Masters Tournament next year. Also get into the final international qualifying for the Open Championship. It's uh, been a special first day. Uh, we hope to see you again tomorrow at more of the Asian Amateur Championship.